Today we're going to be looking at the 2016 Gold Problem 2, Circular Barn Revisited. And so in this question, Farmer John is basically going to have a circular barn. And in this barn, each one of these rooms is able to contain a certain number of cows. And so Farmer John wants to basically have K exterior doors that are going to make the cows move through. And he wants to find the minimum total amount of distance it takes for the cows to move. We're going to solve this question by using a DP. Since we know that it's hard operating on a circular path, what we're going to do instead is we're just going to flatten it out by turning it into an array like this, where we loop through all possible starting locations. So we're just going to loop through through each one and then pick the starting location. And then what we're going to do for each one of these is we're going to have a two dimensional DP where our first dimension is going to be the number of doors we have so far, I. And the second dimension is our current location, J. And so we're just going to assume that we're currently at position J in our list, and that we place a door at J. And so we don't care about anything that happens after J, we just want to calculate what happens in the cost of this. So from we want to find the cost of from 1 to J. And so for this, what we're going to do is, this is going to be door I, meaning we're going to find the cost by basically finding some other location k, and we're going to find this k by looping through from one to, sorry, from j to zero, and we'll just keep looping to find k. And for this value, dpij is basically going to be the minimum of itself, and dpi minus one, k, which is just going to be this, so the cost and the distance traveled here, plus the distance here. And we're going to find this distance here by basically keeping almost two prefix sums, where we have, since we're looping k from j to zero, we're just going to keep track of the total distance traveled by all cows as we keep moving backwards. And so for each one of these lists, we're basically going to create a new dp array and then find this value here. And at the very end, we'll just make answer the minimum of itself and dp k n minus one. So let's go look at the code for this question. I've set up the program a bit here, and we're just going to read in the input. And then I'm going to loop through all of the different rotations of the barn. And so RR is just going to be the current rotation. And we're going to have a vector called current cows, which is just going to represent the rotated version of the cows. And for each one of these, we're just going to create a DP array and initialize it. And it's just going to be a 2D DP array, where the first dimension is going to be the K, and the second dimension is going to be our current location. And while we're initializing this, we're going to update the value for DP1. And we're just going to loop through all of the different values here, and basically set it up. And once we've done that, we're just going to start at row 2. And once we do that, we're going to loop through two main things, I and J. So I is just going to be the current door we're on. J is just going to be the location we're at. And so what this basically means is we're going to assume that we've opened a new door, or the ith door, at J. And we're going to have our kind of two prefix sums, S2 and S1. And they're just going to basically store the cost or the distance that the cows are walking. And so what we're going to do is we're going to loop through the section of J. And we're going to check the different possible door openings. So we're going to have K here, which is just going to be the last door, and the location of the last door. And so we're just going to loop through the K and evaluate all possible locations for the last door opened. And over here, we're just going to do our prefix something, where we basically calculate the cost using S2 and S1. So we're just going to add the previous cost, update S1. And then over here, we're just going to basically update our dp by making it the min of itself and dpi minus 1, k minus 1, assuming that we have a door at k, and then we're adding the distance of s2. Another optimization we could actually do is we could check if s2 is already greater than dpij. Well, we don't need to keep moving since the distance is already too big. The program still runs and passes without it, but it's something that we could include. And then at the very end down here, we're just going to make answer the minimum of itself and dp k and minus one. And here we're just going to output our answer. And that's the end of our program.